Hello everybody and welcome back to Rimworld, where our caravan is refusing to move and it's because I didn't give it orders. There we go, now it's moving. So uh, it's going to be there in three days. People are going to be really hungry when they get there, but I don't think they'll starve to death. At least I hope they won't starve to death. That's the theory. Well, the good news is, if they starve to death... Oh, Ian's no longer wandering in sadness, so he can help forage. Oh, this actually sucks. A rainy thunderstorm in the desert before we could get all of this built. We might have some issues with our heater and or our cooler. But they're unpowered, so I think we won't. At least I hope not. Okay, Tetsuya is still planting cacti. The cacti are doing reasonably well. And we're going to definitely need another sleeping spot. Like, we need to expand this again. Like so. And let's go ahead and cancel this wall. And build some floors. There we go. I'm going to deconstruct this wall as well. And we're just going to build beds and tables, doors, and vents. There we go. Now those won't get built for a little while yet. This caravan has low food, but it's on its way, finally, 2.3 days. So they have no food left. They can do some foraging. They're foraging 14.4 berries per day, but that's not really going to sustain them. They need to get back here ASAP. Like, really, really fast. That said, we are basically out of food here as well. But our rice crop is about to come in, so we're fine. We're absolutely fine. Dougie's caravan has now run out of food for Lumi. Which is not great. Time to destination of two days. And a heat wave just hit. Hmm, that's bad. That's really bad. We finished sterile materials, so let's go ahead and go for... I don't know, I'd kind of like to get some gun turrets. So let's start working towards that with smithing. Okay. So you guys need to get here as quickly as you can. Like, I don't know, maybe visit here and see if you can steal some food <laughs> or trade for some food. Uh, what do you have with you? Like, all you have is herbal, me herbal medicine next six. It's not really out of your way. Go ahead and stop there. Maybe you can trade some of your medicine for a little bit of food. That would be nice. Okay, so we've got some food coming in over here. Good. We now have more food. Not a huge amount, but we have some. Okay, these guys are out of food. But they are moving incredibly slowly. They're getting 3.6 forage per day, which is okay, but not great. And they're now resting. They're still about half a day from this little village here. We'll see if we can get any help there. Maybe we can. So Jackal is kind of upset. I, uh... Forage for food two times faster, huh? Okay, visibility multiplied by 30%. So we do still have this heat wave going on, of course. Um, I would very much like, actually, mm, that's really obnoxious. They did, they took down this wall. Okay, um, we're going to rebuild this wall. Tetsuya, I need you to focus on that right now. We need that wall rebuilt. Because this heat wave, I did not account for. There we go. 
these guys should make it to this town. And hopefully we'll be able to do a bit of trading for some food. And then they'll be able to make it to here. That's the idea. Jackal's being a jerk, though. Come on, point two days. They're almost there. See, this is why I didn't want to leave without packaged survival meals. <laughs> point one days. They're almost there. Come on. Okay. They should be arriving there momentarily. Any moment now. There we go. So, let's go ahead and trade here. Dougie cannot talk properly because of poor health. Wonderful. So if we sell them the herbal medicine, we can purchase some pemmican. Not that much pemmican, obviously. But we can purchase some pemmican. Like... Mm, not much pemmican at all. So... Let's see here. We need to just buy as much as we can, or hypothetically... Okay, so we have no silver with us, so this is the best we can do. And that's zero days of food still, apparently. I mean, that'll that'll get us some food, is the thing. But maybe we can purchase something cheaper. Like, maybe we should purchase just insect meat. I mean, sure, it'll rot soon. But if we purchase, say, 100 insect meat, that'll be half a day. We can't quite do that much. Oops, I need to go this direction. Come on. We can purchase 60 insect meat. Hmm. Well, I think it's the best we can do. So let's accept that. Okay. So now they've got a little bit of... Did they just instantly eat the food? I think they might have instantly eaten the food. Yeah, they did. Okay. So. Yeah, I, I realize that. We have some forage. Ian's health is okay-ish. He has minor malnutrition. But with any luck... How long will it take them to get here? A day and a half. Okay. Let's go. You guys need to start moving. It's all we can do at this point. Okay. As far as this goes, we need to have a lot of food prepared here. And Terrace is well on the way there. So we've got plenty of food on the way. Perfect. We've also got some cacti. So that's good as well. Okay. Doug's caravan has run out of food for Ian. Obviously. But they should be almost here. Lumi is now sad because of intense pain. Okay, so Jackal and Lumi are now sad. But they're gonna be here in about half a day now. They're moving faster because she's actually up. That's good. Ian is now starving. He can survive half a day though. I think we're good. We just had to survive on some insect meat. So, Cause once they get here, we've got plenty of food stocked up. Plenty-ish. We've got some food stocked up. We don't have anywhere for her to sleep, unfortunately. We're working on that. But let's go ahead and get a sleeping spot here. It's uh, not going to be perfect. We can't assign it yet. I think she might get it auto-assigned, though. So they will be here in 0.4 days, but they're currently resting. They're on minor malnutrition. Once they get up, they should be able to get here, and then we've got meals ready to go for them. 
That's the idea. So Terrace is going to go ahead and get these meals prepared. Excellent. And how goes our cacti? They're growing reasonably well, actually. Some of these are ready to go. We have a major break risk on Dougie now, but they will be here in 0.2 days, 0.1 days. All you got to do is survive a little bit longer there, Dougie. Come on, you guys can make it. You guys can make it. Jackal is no longer wandering. That's good. I think that speeds them up a little bit. And they will be back momentarily. Well, as far as first caravans go, that was not, I think, perhaps the worst. Hmm. Ian feels ancient danger here. Yeah, I can see that right there. Good to know. Okay, so these guys are going to instantly walk in here and, you know, just start eating all the food, which is fine. That's exactly what we wanted them to do, because they need to feed themselves. Okay, now as far as the nudity issue goes, I do think we need to get our tailor bench working on something. What does Lumi actually have? Literally nothing. Okay. So, we, uh, we definitely need to, at this point, I think, move pants up the priority list here. Pants and parka. I think that's the priority. Okay. Now then, uh, Jackal, let's have you... Oh, we don't have materials for that. Okay. We need to get our cotton in. Where did our cotton go? Did it get eaten by animals? I think our cotton got eaten by animals. That's not good. Okay, well, at least we've got everybody, you know, alive. That helps. Smithing has been finished. Let's go ahead and go straight into machining next, because like I said, I want gun turrets. Spacecraft chunks. Nice. Components and steel. Yes, please. So we are a bit low on food still, but it's coming in nicely now. And we've got this hay up here that will hopefully attract the animals. Hopefully. So Lumi is not going to be dying anytime soon. But we need to be starting to get these cacti harvested. I mean, some of them are pretty grown. Oh, and Emu has gone mad. We need to focus on hunting that, then. Terrace, I want you to back off. Get out of there. Okay. Kill that emu. Uh, kill the emu? Uh, kill the emu? Like, melee attack the emu, Terrace. Do we need to bring him help? Tetsuya, bring that LMG out here. We might need to help Terrace. Okay. I wonder if he can friendly fire Terrace. Okay, come on. Oh, seriously. Is it impossible to hit this emu? Okay, there we go. The emu is dead. Tetsuya, go rescue Terrace. And make it quick. Okay, so Lumi does not have a weapon. Jackal, I'm going to go ahead and give this revolver. There we go. And then Lumi can take this club. And let's see here. What is she actually good at? Animals and shooting. Okay, you come get the revolver instead. There we go. And... We are going to go ahead and bump up Handle and Hunt. And everything else can be basically skill th or priority three. Just keep yourself busy. Okay. So, Terrace, you need to go back to bed, dude. Like, seriously. 
Rest until healed. You're gonna die in three hours, dude. Okay. Dougie, rescue Terrace. Tetsuya, where are you? Way up there. Hmm. No one in the kitchen right now. Come on back here. Like, why did he get up? <laughs> yeah, I'm aware there's a medical emergency. I'm working on it. Prioritize tending to Terrace. Okay. I think we're good. Why did he get back up? <laughs> he really shouldn't have. Okay. There we go. So, um, about these, uh, cacti, they're finally starting to be harvestable, some of them. So that's good. And we are making some progress up that direction. But we really, really need a lot of wood. There's no doubt about that at this juncture. We need just an absolute ton of wood. Like, literally, a ton of wood. Probably more than a ton of wood. But cacti are perhaps not the greatest way to do this. But it's our only option, because we're in the desert. But now some of these cacti are finally being ready to harvest, so that is great. And we will also soon be in the position where we can make packaged survival meals which will definitely be our priority for uh, being able to... Hang on, what exactly is happening here? Oh, he's making a cowboy hat. Why are you making a cowboy hat? Okay, whatever. Well, Lumi will eventually be able to get clothing, but I guess they just made her a hat for now. Even though I told them to make pants and a jacket. <laughs> well, there. Now you've got a hat, Lumi. Pants and a jacket are kind of necessary, though. Especially when winter comes. But the heat wave is now over, so that's good. So, Terrace is only on severe blood loss. Okay. Now, we have a major break risk on Terrace, but he got up, and Lumi immediately took over that medical bed. I mean, she should be pretty much healed on these bruises, right? Yeah, she's getting close. This geothermal generator looks way higher tech than everything else we've got here. It's kind of nuts. But our potato crop will be coming in pretty soon, so that's good. And also, we've got more cacti. Manhunter pack! Pack of snow hairs. That is a brace of snow hairs. Not a pack. But let's go ahead and um, I feel like we need to go ahead and say all hands with a gun on deck. So not Terrace, but everybody else. Everyone but Terrace. Come on down here. We need to kill these rabbits. Make it quick, guys. Oh, that's a lot of rabbits. There are more rabbits. We need to kill the rabbits. Kill those rabbits. There are so many rabbits. Okay, take out this rabbit. This rabbit's too close. Focus your fire. You guys as well. Focus your fire. Okay, so Lumi got bruised. That's fine. Okay, the other rabbits have all gone up that direction. So let's come up here. And as soon as we have a firing solution, open fire. Open fire. Kill that rabbit. Kill this rabbit. They're all attacking Lumi. Okay. Kill this final rabbit. Okay. I think we dealt with the man-eating rabbits. 
<laughs> that was ridiculous. Okay, so Lumi definitely took the brunt of that one. She is bleeding from a bite from snow hair teeth. Let's go ahead and have her rest until healed. And I mean, this is not her bed, but it'll have to do. Okay. So, that was exciting. We were attacked by some man-eating rabbits. And we'll have some cotton coming in soon, but we also got some rabbit skin from that. And we might be able to make pants out of that, but it'll probably be another hat, won't it? Like, we need to make a parka. Terrace is binging on food. I mean, we've got some food to spare. Not a lot. But our food is... Our, our crops are starting to come in, so it's not a big deal. And once we have this greenhouse online, we'll be basically golden from there. But yeah, our strawberry crop is now coming in, so I think we are just fine. Our potato crop will be in, I think, tomorrow. At least large portions of it will be. So, yeah, we are 100% fine. Are you going to actually make pants? Nope. Oh, that's a bowler hat. <laughs> oh, why are they refusing to make pants? Make pants. Top priority. Maybe they just don't have the materials for it. I suppose that's a possibility. We do need to move the tailor bench out of this structure and into its own. But for that to happen, we first need cacti to, you know, actually be giving us a significant portion of wood. A significant wood income, if you will. So Terrace fell asleep over there, and that's because he doesn't have a bed. Lumi is currently taking his bed. Like, get out of that bed, Lumi. That's not yours. That's Terrace's. Go to your sleeping spot if you need to sleep. There you go. Okay, Terrace, I want you to uh, cook a simple meal. Okay. Well, we have a group of elephants wandering through the area. Um, there's nothing really that we can do with them unless we wanted to hunt them, and I really don't. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. We've done some dangerous things already. Hey, look at that. Lumi is actually helping our hay grass over there. And now she's up here digging silver. Okay, that's good. We will need silver later on for sure. Okay, so we do have sterile materials, and I'm going to go ahead and redo our kitchen in sterile tile. Nothing else, just the kitchen for now. Our hospital will also be sterile, but that just costs so much. Like, it costs 12 silver and 3 steel, so that's going to be exciting. But we'll get there. It'll be done soon enough. The reason I feel comfortable doing that is because we've got all this silver that came in from a meteorite up here. So if we're able to do this, then we will have a much cleaner area to cook in, and we will be much less likely to get food poisoning. Which I feel is a good thing. But now that we've got seven colonists, we can get a lot more done per season. So we're definitely going to need to start construction on a few more buildings. Or expansions to current buildings, one or the other. Um, I think realistically, we're probably going to expand this building pretty soon. Like, I feel like we'll go to a wood wall, which we can't do, because we don't have any wood stored. We'll go to wood wall, and we'll just expand this building out this direction. Probably not that far, but out this direction, and then just have a dedicated tailoring spot. So we've got our dedicated wood block spot, or wood blocks, our dedicated stone block spot, and then a dedicated uh, tailoring spot out this direction. That's probably going to be the plan over there. We've also got an eclipse right now. Good thing we don't have any solar panels. We don't have any power issues. However, once our greenhouse comes online, we'll start having some power issues. That takes a lot of power. 
And Lumi is now sad. Because she has minor pain. Okay. Well, we'll go for gunsmithing next. Flak armor might be nice to have, but I really want to get gun turrets. I want to be able to just automatically defend this area a little bit. However, it is time to put a cut in here. It's the 15th of April, May, so we're almost through spring. In fact, we will be through spring in one hour. Summer will begin. There we go. Summer has begun. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, and next episode, we will keep trying to grow our colony. See you all then.